Welcome to Outrageous English. Still learning English? Still stumbling across the odd word or two that confuses and confounds? Don't worry, that's why I'm here. Each video, I focus on one expression or word and discuss the true meaning as well as the way it is applied in day to day life. So, sit back, cocksuckers, and learn outrageous English from a native. Today's word cook. C U C K. Cook. A strong word whose derivation is very old, but which has come to have a new meaning in modern day life. The etymology taken from the old English word cuckold and then abbreviated, the word cuckold first appeared as a noun as far back as 1250, itself derived from Old French, the date of which is seemingly unknown. A cuckold is a man, generally, whose wife commits adultery, the suggestion being that the man is weak and sexually so inadequate that his wife is forced to seek the attentions of another man to satisfy her sexual desires. The first written example of the word being used as a verb to cook old was in 1589, though the source is unclear. Why is it controversial? Well, in the last few years, this word has come to be associated with what is referred to as the alt-right a disparate group of people whose political leanings are right of mainstream and is often used by them as a pejorative against left-leaning people. Okay, before we dive in first, a disclaimer. The following examples are for demonstrative and educational purposes only and in no way reflect my political, religious or ideological beliefs. Clear? The fact I even have to fucking say that. All right, let's go. Word types of cook, noun, and verb. As a verb, it is regular. So the infinitive form is to cook. The past tense form is cooked. The past participle is cooked. And finally, the progressive form is cooking. Not to be confused with the homonym to cook with the meaning to heat food. The sound is almost exactly the same, of course, but the meaning is very different. Now, I say the sound is almost exactly the same because to the native speaker, there is a subtle difference. Listen to the way I say the following two sentences. He is a cook. He is a cook. Notice how for the second, the word we are discussing today, I add a little emphasis and passion to the word. This is because usually when we are using this word, we are discussing somebody we don't really like. So we indicate this to the listener by just injecting a little venom into our tone. Consider a previous word we have discussed here on Outrageous English, bastard. Again, this is used to describe a disagreeable person. So listen to my two following sentences. He is a real bastard. He is a real bastard. Which of these is likely to be more accurate and natural to the native speaker? You've got it, of course. Yes, it's the first one. Just that little extra addition of energy into the delivery indicates the feeling of the speaker. Okay, usage one. As a noun, a weak person, usually a man. Example one, he won't tell his boss the truth because he's scared of losing his job. He is such a cook. Example two, see that cook over there hiding from the police? So 
a person, normally a man, we consider to be weak or cowardly. Usage to, as a noun, somebody whose behavior or opinions are considered to weaken their own social grouping, be it class, race, gender, or religion. Example one. I thought you loved England, but you married a Muslim. You are a cook. Example two. That woman's husband is really anti-feminist. She is a cook to our cause. So, somebody whose opinions or behavior are frowned upon by their social group due to the impression of weakening it. Note, here, in the second example, the cook in question was a woman. Just to demonstrate that it is possible to use this word to talk about a woman, though it is usually reserved for men. Note also that this is the meaning of the word that has been adopted by the alt-right in modern usage. Usage three, as a verb, to be emasculated. Example one, my girlfriend always talks about my small penis to her friends. I feel really cooked. Example two, I played tennis against a 15-year-old girl and I lost. I have never been so cooked. So, a man who feels his masculinity has been challenged in some way can be described as cooked. Usage four, to take advantage of somebody that you believe to be weaker than you. Example one, I told him that this computer was worth $1,000, but it's a piece of shit. I totally cooked him. Example two, she convinced me she was telling the truth, so I gave her my credit card number. She was cooking me the whole time. So we can see here that to cook can be used synonymously with to scam, trick, or fool. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Please subscribe to this channel to make sure you don't miss a single video. Thanks. <laughs>